So here we are, we're in the green side bunker and we've got a plugged lie or a buried lie or otherwise known as a fried egg lie, which means the ball is buried well below the equator of the sand. It means we're pretty limited as to what we can do with it. We're very happy just to get the thing out and onto the green and hopefully have a putt for our next, uh, our next shot. So the most important thing here is to dig. It's down, it's in. It's telling us to go digging after it. So how do we go digging in a bunker? We normally want the club to bounce in a bunker. In this instance, we actually want the, the club to dig in, which means we want the sharp edge. This is about the only time we really want this to happen, is we want that sharp le edge leading into the sand first. We also want to have quite a fair bit of forward shaft lean as we're going down and in. So for all those cricketers out there, it's like digging out a Yorker, really plugging the cricket bat down that way. So the ball position has to change. We certainly don't want it left here. We want a very, very steep angle of attack into the ball, which means the ball position has to change and has to go further towards your right foot for a right-handed golfer or your left foot for a lefty. We don't have to worry about a nice pretty follow through here. That's kind of irrelevant. We just want to basically dig, build the wall. What does build the wall mean? Build the wall means if the leading edge of the club is going into the sand first, we want it to go in, dig, and create a wall. You can probably see the back of the wedge there. That's the wall that we want. And that's the ramp that's going to basically throw the ball out of the bunker. Now in my coaching, and, and, and certainly anybody that ever asks me for any advice, the first thing I'll always tell them is hold the club lightly in almost all golf shots, except for when the ball's buried in the sand or buried in deep grass. This is the only time we really, really want to have a tight grip on it. So we do want to feel some tension in your fingers and maybe in your forearms and wrists as well. So, under normal circumstances in a bunker shot, we want to have a fair bit of distance between us and the ball, more so than we would have for a standard shot off grass. This time we're going to get in closer. The closer we get to the ball, the steeper our swing has to become. The further away we go, the rounder and flatter and the lower is the center of gravity. So we want a high center of gravity here. We want a sharp edge. We want to create the wall and we want to be a bit aggressive here. The bunkers kind of got us. So we have to, we can't be friendly in trying to getting this out. We have to be aggressive with it. So can I go for this flag? Probably not. If I was in a competition situation here, I might play away from it and go to the fat side of the green because this ball is going to come out with zero backspin. It's going to roll quite a lot. So if there's another bunker just beyond the flag, let's say another five to 10 meters beyond that flag, don't go for the flag. Play away from it. Play to the fat side of the green and accept a bogey or a double bogey or a one pointer in Stableford and get out of here. We're going to go for the pin anyway. Here we go. So. We're going to dig our feet in. The ball is positioned much more towards your right foot because we want it to dig. The club face now looks like it's almost closed to me, but that's just because the thing's so far behind me. It's a bit of an optical illusion. Weight on our left foot. Let's go digging and building a wall. Not for the faint-hearted, so give it your best effort. There we go. It's come out. It's landed about pin high. And it's rolling. It's still going, it's still going, it's still going. All right, if I'm lucky, I might be able to putt that back up the hill. Very, very deep divot. It's a deep divot. It was supposed to be because we wanted it to dig. We wanted to build this wall and create the wall to throw the ball up and out. The good news is I haven't got another bunker shot as my next one. So I hope this helps you to be more consistent in getting the ball out I hope you're more confident in what you're trying to do. We want to dig, we want a sharp edge, we want to hit it hard and we do want a tight grip. I hope that helps.